Hey guys, Jason Jeffries here. Uh, wanted to tell everybody there's this real big asteroid flyby we just had recently. Um, it was called 2009 ES. It's about 100 miles wide and it uh, definitely has the, it says the potential to go off with about 3 billion atomic bombs. Enough to wipe out the world like it did when it, the dinosaurs came. So, if the Chinese media is telling this much, and we know how they're communists, so, uh, and they keep repeating the same thing about the dinosaurs, three billion atomic bombs, um, just how much damage it could do. It was a near Earth flyby. Uh, I wanted to show a couple things if I could. Here, there's the, this is, uh, the data we could find on it. So they know it's orbit. They're, they they try not to tell you too much about the orbit, but it appears here, I was looking down through the data. <coughs> and this is when they see it last. This is gonna be the next flyby right here. And it's right in our uh, little weird timeline we had there, 2017, October 18th. Uh, it's actually the closest this number's ever been. See how low this number gets right here? This number actually shows you like, it is very, 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 very close to that time because these are near flybys. They were just worried about this flyby right here. And uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> two zero places over so you can think that's a lot that's a big it's a huge difference I just wanted to show the data because a lot of places say no there's no data on this this is from the actual NASA site so then again believe what you want from NASA um, this is comment uh, 67 P that we were talking about and this is interactive live data from it and uh, something cool thought you guys would like to check this out but they're supposed to they found pyramids on the bottom of this thing, like right here. So uh, they even said that it reminded them of Egypt and they named it after certain places in Egypt and the Rosetta camera, this thing right here where this is where it's at and it's just happens to be in between Jupiter and Mars like we keep saying and it's right where we, right where the comet is, right? That's 67 feet. So as we're coming in to September, We'd be in between this and the sun. You can see what I was saying there. So uh, just correlates with all the data. And we know that they like to make cover stories of everything. So something cool you can check out. It's all just uh, adding together. And yeah, so could it, it just seems very, very odd when you think about how they name the names. I'd, I'd just encourage you guys to look all this stuff up yourself. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of information on it, and it seems that they're kind of finally doing that push on this information now that China, I mean, this is the nearest it's going to be ever predicted. So, and it falls right into the same timeline. Is this like the wormwood or whatever they were talking about? Who knows? But yeah, something that I just wanted to make you guys aware about. We're going to be doing, uh, I'll be uploading a couple more videos. I have um, continuations of earlier videos and also uh, a couple interviews I'm going to be sharing, hopefully with Dave Dobbs and uh, Joseph Reyna and a couple other people here soon. So uh, enjoy, guys.